What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. As you guys can see, we're out here in the garage getting ready to hop on the road glide and head over to my dad's house. We are going to pick up a brand new 2022 Harley Davidson Lowrider ST. And I cannot wait to start this new project build on the channel. I know I'm pretty much done with my road glide as far as performance modifications go. There's a couple little things more I want to do to it, but for now I'm pretty much done and I'm out of content with this bike. I know you guys want to see more moto vlogs and riding videos and uh, different videos of me going to different bike nights and uh, street racing and things like that. But yeah, me and my dad were talking the other day and uh, we decided we want to pull the trigger on a new Lowrider ST and basically just have like a project bike for YouTube and show you guys all the different parts we're going to be installing on it from start to finish and uh, basically do like step-by-step -step videos, reviews, install videos and compare the new ST to like our baggers, which obviously my dad has a stage two, my mom's bike's a stage one, I have a stage three, and uh, basically compare that new 117 to our bikes with the 114s and uh, see how it stacks up performance wise and also like cornering and handling wise. So I hear the new Lowrider ST is a bad bitch and I hear it's really fun to ride, especially in the corners. So I can't wait to strap on a helmet cam and get you guys some reviews of the new 2022 Lowrider ST. But without further ado, let's hop on the road glide, head over to my dad's house and go get this thing. I'll see you guys at the dealership. All right guys, we just got here to race these Harley Davidson in Lapeer, Michigan. Go check out the new bike. Here she is, guys. The all-new 2022 Harley Davidson Lowrider ST. What do you guys think? I apologize in advance for the water fountain right here. It's kind of loud, but hopefully you guys can hear me. Plus, it's a super windy day here in Michigan. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the new 2022 Lowrider STs. At first, I really wasn't a fan of the fairing in the front. I like the Lowrider S a lot better, but now that I've seen the bike in person, I definitely like the way it looks. I'm still not a fan of the new bags on the ST. Now, I'm definitely not a fan of the tail light and the turn signals, which stay tuned, I have a whole list of mods we're gonna be doing to this thing. There's a lot in store for this project build. As you guys may know, the new Lowrider ST comes with the 117 cubic inch motor out of the CVO big bikes. Put that big motor in this light bike, this bike's gonna fly, guys. This bike's gonna rip, especially once we put a cam in it, two into one exhaust, and tune it. This thing's gonna be a wheelie master. Cannot wait to go take this thing for a ride and get some review videos on it for you guys because this is a new bike for this year, guys. 2022, first year they came out with such things. It's definitely more of like a West Coast style bike with the fairing and the saddlebags. But Harley definitely knocked it out of the park with this one here. Basically brought back to life the FXR Dyna and a soft tail chassis with the big 117 cubic inch motor and the fairing and the saddlebags, guys. You could get this bike in vivid black, which is what we got it in, or you could get it in the destroyer gray, or they call it a uh, gunship gray, but he wanted the black one, so we ended up with vivid black. As you can see here, it's got the bronze wheels, dual rotors in the front, inverted forks. I like the stock heat shields too. It shows the pipe through there, kind of stands out, more gold popping out. Got the gold 117 there. The gold bar and shield down there. Nice gold bar and shield on the saddlebags. I'm not a fan of the bags just yet. Um, hopefully they grow on me. I definitely think the bike looks better without the saddlebags on. Like I said, once I get it home, I'm gonna do a full review on it for you guys. I just wanted to give you a little overview of it right here while we're at the dealership. Again, we're here at Ray C's Harley Davidson in Lapeer, Michigan. If you guys are in Michigan and you're looking for the best deal, make sure you hit up Mike here at Ray C's. I'll leave his info in the description of the video and I'll also put it up here on the screen. Mike is a stand-up guy, down-to-earth guy, and he will literally get you the best deal on your brand new or used Harley-Davidson motorcycles. Make sure you guys check them out. They're located here in Lapeer, Michigan. They always have cool bike nights and bike events out here in their parking lot. Uh, there's a lot of inventory, and they're just a great down-to-earth dealer to deal with. This is the same dealer that Dino tuned my Rogue Glide with the 128 cubic inch motor I just put in it. These guys are great here at Ray C's Harley, so make sure you guys go check them out. Um, as you can see, it does have mid controls. You see the 117 on the derby cover there. But yeah, all around, this is a bad bitch. Brand new bike for 2022. Definitely be a cool project build for the channel. We're gonna go inside, sign the paperwork, and hit the road. I'll pick the camera back up once we get it home in the garage. All right guys, so my dad's just hopping on the bike now. Get ready to head home. Man, she's quiet.
All right, guys, so we just got the ST home. We're getting ready to do a couple things to it. Uh, we're gonna give it a nice wash and wax. We wanna get a nice fresh coat of wax on the paint. We're going to go ahead and take off all the reflectors that you see here and here and on the fork tubes as well. Take those off and then uh, that's basically gonna be it for today. And then what I'll do in the next video is give you guys a full review on the new 2022 Lowrider ST and go over all the different features it has. Um, and then I'll also uh, talk about all the different parts we're thinking about putting on this. This is gonna be a project build, so um, I'm gonna be asking for your guys' input and your ideas. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna do a lot with this bike. All right guys, so what we did here is we removed the reflectors off the fork tubes. I put on some smoked lenses up here uh, until the custom dynamics rings, LED rings come in um, through some smoked, we had some smoked lens caps laying around so we threw that up there. Definitely gives the bike a more clean look um, with the yellow lens caps, it's just out there and super bright and it just looks terrible in my opinion. So we threw some smoke caps on there, went ahead and removed the reflectors off the saddlebags. Haven't gotten to the reflectors on the fender yet. You can't really see them with the bags on, so I left those for now. But yeah, I went ahead and took the reflectors off the saddlebags and on the front forks, and as you can see, the bike is 10 times cleaner without those reflectors on there. I hate when Harley puts those reflectors on these bikes, even on the baggers. Uh, when, that's the first thing I do as soon as they come home is take the reflectors off. But also took off the warning sticker on top of the air cleaner. Check out this massive 117 cubic inch motor they put in this soft tail. Cannot wait to start modifying this bike, guys. Stage one parts for this bike are already on order. So yeah, she's basically done for now until we get the parts in. But uh, that's basically gonna conclude today's video. The next video is gonna be a full review on this bike. Also, doing a moto vlog slash riding review video on it for you guys. I know this is a new bike for this model year and uh, there's not too many videos out there um, on this bike. So if you're here for some new ST content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, stay tuned. We have a lot of things planned for this bike. Like I mentioned, there's already parts on order for it. And this is basically gonna be a project build between me and my dad and we're gonna just have some fun with this bike, guys. Um, I will say it is so fun to ride compared to the touring bikes, like compared to my bagger. I mean, I love my Rogue Glide out here. It's a great bike, especially with the new 128 kit I put in it. But man, this thing here, corners like no other. So stay tuned for that. I will do a riding video and a review video on this bike. Um, you're not gonna wanna miss that. But that's gonna do it for today, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Tons of content coming for you guys. New bike, new build, which means more videos on the channel. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.